starting with tea something that you will not usually see on this channel because i'm a coffee lover but i found this caramel flavored tea and as soon as you open the bag you can smell the scent of caramel so i added the bag of tea to boiling water you can add one or two depending on how strong you like your tea then add the sweetener i highly recommend maple syrup or brown sugar boil it for a little bit add the evaporated milk a dash of cinnamon i use pumpkin pie spices and a pinch of salt salt make it different and much tastier but just add a little bit maybe less than a pinch just just a little bit So I just want to show you what I've been doing for the past couple of days. I've been really enjoying drawing for me, only for myself, not for anyone else. And I've been having a blast. So if you remember, I showed these before. I got them from Daiso. It's the coloring books. Finally start with them. I've been wanting to color them for so long, but I've been like putting the shop as an excuse this is the first one they have instruction in the front and they say you paint them with pencil color but i color them with watercolor and it was so much fun but i made some detail with pencil coloring i really really enjoyed this one and i really want to make more and i color more it's so relaxing i put a podcast or a vlog and just enjoy and i really miss sketching so I sketch some ducks because I want to draw some ducks I'm still figuring out how I want to draw ducks in my own style so first I start with these and I thought they are a little bit too cartoonish so I made them like this and I really love this simple style I don't know it is so simple but it has a lot of character and I really really like it so after I finish sketching I looked at this one and I thought oh I'm having a vision so this is kind of the vision this is uh, started with this duck and then my character and I draw some trees maybe some mountains I still don't know how I'm gonna draw it but this is kind of the vision and I'm really having fun exploring other stuff welcome back to move with Nicole so when you're ready roll out your mask and let's begin I saw the sesame sauce stir fry recipe and I made it the other day and it literally is so addictive. So starting by adding the chicken nugget or chicken tenders to the air fryer and let it cook. For the veggies, it is totally optional. You can go with your favorite veggie. So I went with mushroom, broccoli, and some peas. For the sauce, you're gonna add ketchup, soy sauce, cool duck or fire noodle sauce, sesame oil, maple syrup, garlic, and black pepper, which is not included in the recipe but i like the flavor of it so i just add it i could not find the original recipe i just kind of recreated depending on the short that i saw so yeah i feel like you can adjust it depending on how you like your sauce finally adding the sesame seed in a pan add some oil your veggie season them with salt pepper garlic powder let them cook then took them out when they are a little bit crunchy and in the same pan add the sauce and let it reduce until it's thick then add the chicken nugget coat them with the sauce then add the veggies finally add everything on top of rice garnish with green onions and enjoy
The first filling is this mashed potato cheese corn filling, but first let's enjoy this ASMR. Add the potatoes to a cooking pot, add boiling water, salt, and I like to add a little bit of baking soda. I feel like it makes the potato much fluffier. After they're done, mash them together until they're smooth. For the cheeses, I'm using cheddar and mozzarella cheese. So I added the cheese to the potato, mix them together, season them with salt and pepper, and I add a little bit of cream to make it a little bit softer, but I kind of regret it because I felt like it made it a little bit too soft. More cheese mix than the corn. The second filling is cheese and chips Oman. I know for some of you who don't live in UAE or Oman, it might be weird, but it's totally common in here and you will find some restaurant or small businesses that make this recipe. So I microwave the cream cheese until it get a little bit softer for mixing. Then I took the chips and smashed them. And combine them with the cream cheese and that's it it is so easy Another thing that I want to show you is my background. I saw this background on Etsy. It's from this artist. I'll try to link it below and it, it is so nice. I've been drawing some ducks lately and all my Pinterest are ducks drawing. So this one was recommended to me and yeah, that's how I got it. And it look at it. It is so beautiful. It is so cute and it's perfect for rainy season. It just, it is so cute.
I bought some Ramban decoration from Amazon and the first one is this lamp. I love how it looks, I love the wood and it's just so cozy. The second one is this Ramban sign. It comes with a wooden stand and electric candle. So when you light up the candle, the sign kind of pop off. But to be honest, when I tried it, the candle did not make a lot of difference. But anyway, I really love it. I feel like it's so elegant and it's just so nice. Um, so this sign. I wanted to replace my butterfly sign with a Ramban themed one but I forgot to read the measurement and I was shocked about how big it was when it arrived. So yeah, I decided to return it because it was too big. I got a new iPad case. My current one is getting a little bit dirty and started to peel off so I got this nice green color and I really like the material of the case. It is really nice and so soft. And I also love the space for the pen. My old case has it on the opposite side so every time I want to charge it I have to take it out and put it on the other side which was not nice. I got this new headphone. I tried really hard to find a cozy neutral color one. I read some reviews about it and they were decent but despite how good looking it is it was not that good. The sound quality was meh and the mic sounded horrible which was the main reason why I got it so I can talk with my friends but they could not hear me clearly so so yeah I decided to return this one too. The last thing that I got is this small sketching book. All of my sketchbook are too big so I decided to get this small one because lately I've been finding it hard to fill up large spaces so hopefully this one will help. So I took everything off except for the main and, and the bread one and decided to make a bread and a coffee theme. So this is the final result but I'm still not 100% sure about it. I might change it in the future. The sketchbook was easy to decorate so I made it simple. I put one of my stickers. This is my little happiness stickers and I thought it fit the theme so well. So for this year, I decided to decorate my desk a little bit just to feel the vibes of Ramban. So we have these decoration that we bought about two years ago and I thought I will use one of them for my desk. And I think the second one is much better. I feel like it popped more than the first one because the first one is white and it kind of blend with the wall. Do you remember these mini shelves? <laughs> 
shelf and i thought they will be so cute for my setup just to hang up some print or like mini figures but there is one thing that i did not notice when i bought them no so yeah i decided to pull the nails out of them and use them so i added a double side adhesive tape to both of them and stick them on the wall and i really like how this mini shelf have two space or section one space is for the art print and the other one is for mini figures so i added my ramban art print and i have these mini food figures that i got from daiso so i decided to use the takoyaki one i felt like it matches the art print and i really like how it turned out because i felt like it popped out from the art print so from dan and barak for all of you wishing you a peaceful and a happy month don't forget to take care of yourself spend a lot of time with your loved one thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye